and Joseph could not control himself. Now Joseph is in charge and everything in, in, of everything in Egypt, and now in the text we find him crying like a baby uncontrollably. We say men are not supposed to cry, but Joseph teaches us a lesson tonight that pain is pain, and it does not discriminate. It has no gender preference. When you are in pain, you are in pain. So Joseph begins to cry, and the Bible says the Hebrew word that they use here, he's crying, and he's crying loudly as he's crying. He's crying so loud that they begin to hear him all over the town crying, Pharaoh and everybody. Now all Joseph had to do is move his hand, and he could have had them take care of his brothers. But when he cries, he moves them to a place, and not only do we see him crying in his pain, but next in the text, we see that he confronted his perpetrators. But look at how he confronted them. When he, he confronted them, he said to his brothers, please come close to me. He didn't say, remember what you did. He didn't say you hurt me that way or that way. He said, come close to me. These were his brothers, his family. God has created us to be in community, to be connected to each other. Irregardless of what they had done, they were still his brothers. And he said, come close to me. Then he says to them, I am your brother, Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. Then he says, do not grieve. Or be angry with yourselves because you sold me here. I said, how can he confront these perpetrators with this spirit? What is wrong with Joseph? I would have told him, look what you did to me. I mean, I would have had a list of choice words for them. I would have rehearsed them year after year. That's what we do when people hurt us. We rehearse what we're going to say to them. If I ever get the chance to tell them what they really did and how it really hurt me, I'm going to let them have it. I'm going to tell it to them. I'm not going to let them get away or get off the hook for what they did. But Joseph says, don't be angry with yourselves. He responds to them in a way that suggests that through all that Joseph had gone through, Joseph had developed this relationship with God. Now remember, Joseph is in Old Testament times, so there is no indwelling of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit Because of the pains and the problems of life, and we don't know how to deal with them. But I'm glad 